We've been bringing you these stories all day. But tonight, we want to take a moment to reflect on how this national tragedy played out here in Hampton Roads. This is what things look like outside of Naval Station Norfolk. 18 years ago tonight, every ID checked as sailors were ordered to report to base. Keep in mind, at this point, there was still a lot of uncertainty over who attacked us. Still, duty called, the Navy was ready to respond. At Norfolk International Airport, you could see and feel the confusion and fear. Many people had no idea why their flight landed here and not at their destination. But some passengers got the chilling news mid-flight. told us that the United States was on a terrorist attack and a plane had crashed into the World Trade Center and one had crashed into the Pentagon. Everybody said, you know, how can this be? And there's just shock all over the plane. This was something that profoundly impacted us all. The sudden tranquility of a Tuesday in September shattered. We are going to show you a story that aired in this newscast 18 years ago tonight. It captures the feeling many of us had that day. The fear, the uncertainty, the idea that America as we knew it had changed forever. People turned to the one place they could get some sort of an answer, their faith. Please join with me in the call of worship. They gathered at the Opera House. I feel like uh, this is frankly where we can do the most good right now. They gathered at a Baptist church. I just need to, to um, be with my brothers and sisters and, and worship and to, and to pray. God, God has the big plan. I'm not an extremely religious person, but I do believe there is a God, and I don't know why this has happened, so maybe this will help clear it up or, or I don't know, keep it from getting any worse. The question, how do you bridge the miles to New York City, to Washington, D.C.? For hundreds, perhaps thousands, the answer is simple. We have to pray. Yes. We have to pray. Nothing would be the same after that. In the days that followed, we all came to understand the same group that attacked us on 9-11 was the same group that bombed the Norfolk-based USS Cole. Hampton Roads responded. Our sailors were among the first to join what would become the War on Terror, a battle still being fought overseas 18 years later. I'll leave you with this last note. No day shall erase from you the memory of time. That inscription stands solemnly at the 9-11 Memorial in Manhattan. It is a reminder, a promise to the nearly 3,000 people killed in New York, Pennsylvania, and Northern Virginia.